This is my Hack RF running uh, on 20 meters with uh, SDR Sharp. And it's on my uh, 88 foot doublet antenna. You can see uh, right in the middle of the um, spectrum display there is a AM broadcast image. It's not actually there. So this is my Flex 5000 running the same frequency band. Same, tuned into the same frequency there and uh, no AM station. But that's nothing that can't be cured with a broadcast blocking filter, broadcast band block filter. Basically a high pass filter. So, uh, this thing is zoomed in pretty tight here. I can uh, zoom way out. <clears throat> and uh, it looks pretty crazy. But that goes, uh, that's showing from around 12. 13 megahertz all the way up to uh, 32 megahertz. So it's a huge chunk of bandwidth, and uh, you know, at that wide of a display in HF, all the carriers, and there's I'm sure more AM images in there, and it just all looks like noise, but uh, it looks like there's a lot going on. A wide bandwidth like that on a uh, microwave frequencies you would see maybe one OFDM Wi-Fi signal or something would be 20 megahertz wide and the resolution is not so great um, with this SDR IQ or SDR sharp it's a uh, I don't know it's a little hard to tune I would like to find a better software I'd like to be able to use HD SDR with this Heck RF. So I have it um, plugged into this little SMA cable here. You can see it's running. Uh, this is the external clock connections. So you can uh, sync up more than one Heck RF1. Or you could put a high accuracy, like 10 megahertz clock on it. And I'm going into a uh, little antenna switch here. I got my uh, doublet antenna here, and uh, this is hooked to my uh, VHF UHF uh, vertical outside. And uh, so I can um, I can look at some other frequency ranges here. I'm going to zoom out and uh, tune on up here. As you can see, when you get up into the higher frequency ranges the noise floor goes way down um, and so this is zoomed out just showing uh, 212 megahertz to 224 zoom out even more 232 to 213 let's go up to UHF uh, so there's uh, what's probably a couple of amateur radio repeaters let's see four yeah, it could be. Let's see. We need to switch to uh, FM. And uh, let's try to see what this is. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, uh, this antenna, that's uh, 1.4 gig. Let's go to 2.4. Uh, 2.40 oh something. Zoomed all the way out. I'm gonna just uh, scroll up the bands here, see what we can pick up in microwave range. There's here's the gain 
gain control settings here. Let me see if I can get that to focus. So when I first got this, um, I thought it was deaf. But you really have to crank the gain up, especially up, up in VHF and microwave UHF bands. Um, so once you turn the gain up a little bit, here you can see uh, some kind of signal. Not sure what that would be. 2.417. That's 2 gigahertz, 417 megahertz. Let's see. Let's have a little cruise on up the bands here. Let's see what we can find out. The resolution looks a lot better when you're not. Um, zoomed in so much uh, which is handy up in the higher bands because like I said the, a lot of the signals are uh, much wider there um, but anyway this just got my heck RF1 running got it last week and uh, I got it running a couple days ago and um, it's a pretty cool little toy it's got a huge wide frequency range um, I mean, I can go, a lot of people are talking about the, uh, well, I had that, let's see here, let's put this, a lot of people are talking about the performance, of, um, way down in the HF, and, uh, I've actually found it's pretty decent. There's, there's like a few images there, um, but if you can handle that, it's not that bad, and if you crank the gain up a little bit um, it's it can be sensitive enough to uh, get some good signals out of it um, so I think this is uh, a Wi-Fi let me see what this 20 mega samples per second so we're 2.46 to 2.44 Can, um, if uh, anybody watching can ID some of these signals we're seeing here, please post in the comments. Let me know what I'm looking at. I'm not super familiar with a lot of this stuff up here in uh, this frequency range because I've never had an SDR that ran up this high. I've played with the RTLs and stuff before, but this deal is new to me. RTLs don't perform up in this range. So... Here, let's take a shortcut. I mean, that was a huge big signal there. And there are some uh, broadcast FM images up here also. Um, and I have this little uh, broadcast band filter for FM right here. Uh, I ordered some SMA adapters for it it's from MCM Electronics. And uh, it'll notch out the broadcast FM and keep a lot of the images out. I used to use it on the RTL and it works pretty well. And it, they're cheap. I think they're like $3 or something like that. So, found some uh, SMA adapters on Amazon and still waiting for those to arrive. But, let's see. Maybe go down in a VHF range. See if we can find a repeater that's running down here. Zoom in a little bit. Uh, 
I'll see what this is. Yeah, I think that's a repeater. Oh, that's uh, for and night. NOAA Weather Radio. Kind of cool. The uh, the VFO was pretty accurate. The, the frequency. Uh, I corrected this one by I think like negative seven parts per million on this software, but it's uh, it's working pretty good. So anyway, that's the the Hack RF. I just switched to the uh, the doublet, and it's immediately getting some images and stuff. Let's see. You can see uh, here. Let me put it back on my other antenna. Let's go down to uh, you know, like here you go. There's broadcast FM. Day of hell that I have lived. I Those uh, hey. carriers on either side of the uh, analog FM are the okay, HD uh, radio carrier signals. The channels between the channels. So, uh, I'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, that's me. So, see, there's images here because this is up at 118 megahertz, 119. That's images. Those signals aren't really there. But this is pretty accurate um, down here in this range. Here, let me... Uh, I'm going to turn the gain down a little bit. And uh, turn the range back up. Looks a little better there. So that's the broadcast bands there. Pretty cool. So this program, I mean, this program is pretty cool, but it's not. It's not quite as refined as uh, Power SDR is on the Flex, which I'm very used to. This program and uh, playing with it for a few years now. I really like it, but that radio doesn't cover the frequency range. This one does. So, what are you gonna do? Let's see, we'll go, let's go back down. I'm gonna go. This is like a 160 meter band here, all the way down to 1.8. And these are, it's just all kinds of noise. Let's see <laughs> how much noise there is here. It's probably just, not really performing there, but if I put it on AM, I mean, let's see, let's see if we can make anything of this. Oh, we're still zoomed way out. So there's AM broadcast stuff. Shortwave, 18 megahertz, or it could be an image from a regular traditional broadcast. All these carriers in between are all probably images. That's AM broadcast all the way down at uh, 18 megahertz. Let's look and see what we can find. Um, 
Uh, there's. I mean, you can pretty much DC to daylight with this thing, which is pretty cool. And if uh, once you add in a few filters, you know, I think you'll uh, get some pretty decent performance out of it. Block out a lot of the broadcast band stuff, uh, and um, yeah. The, the other thing about this program that I'm not so keen on is uh, it doesn't do um, any transmit. So if I wanted to uh, jump down here in uh, the PSK or RIDI portions of the band and try to make some PSK contacts with it, uh, I probably wouldn't have any luck. So there you can hear, uh, let's see if we can bring that in a little bit. Yeah, there's a PSK carrier signal right at 14.070. So that's accurate. And if I uh, grabbed a virtual audio cable and ported that over to my uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, I could decode that. So that's the Hack RF-1 that I just got. And it works. I'm looking forward to playing around with it a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed uh, my little demo here. Maybe next time I'll do another one and talk about, show the difference with the filters and broadcast band blocking filters and stuff like that and show you how all that works. All right, my name is Cameron. My call sign's AJ4TW. 73, we'll catch you later.